What's going on, Gemma? Welcome back to Dark Cloud. Once again, to be the Lonesome Rav. Now, guys and gals, it sounds really bizarre, but for a change, I actually do have quite a few things to actually inform you guys on for a change, so woo! Okay, so first things first, we have Agar's sword now. Obviously, as you'll notice, we have quite a few less swords than we did before. We obviously used to have Dark Chronicle here. We had the Sun and Moon sword. We had the good old, uh... Macho sword as well. We had Sax sword. We had, I think, the double edged sword. And now we've got this as well, which I actually completely forgot I even had. But now we have the most important is Aga's sword. Now, Aga's sword is the one last. Uh is it the last one? It's like, either this one, then one more upgrade, then the best one we can get, or it's this one, and then the next one's the best one we get, I'm not too sure. Actually, no, I think it's the next one after this is Atlamelia Sword, the last one is the Chronicle Sword. I don't know, but basically, Chronicle Sword is the best sword you can get in the entirety of Dark Cloud, except for Chronicle 2. Chronicle 2 you cannot get until you finish the final complete bonus dungeon, in which, to be fair, will be about 12 million miles away, so pretty much this is the best kind of route we can go for now. So, um, yeah, so pretty much what I did is I completely and utterly removed uh, Dark Cloud out of the way, added it onto good old Macho Sword, upgraded it until we got to this bad boy. Now, obviously, another thing you can notice as well is we now have big bucks and uh, durable on there as well. Obviously, as you may be able to kind of guess, I basically broke down the entirety of uh, the big bucks hammer, broke it down, added it onto this bad boy, and here we are, basically. I'm kind of waiting for this one to come by boost up. I'm pretty sure we are kind of on the good for, for all of these, except for probably Holy. Uh, for some reason, I noticed Holy is just one I've just not really bumped up at all the entirety of the game. I mean, I've managed to get some while I've kind of ventured around the place, and I managed to get a couple of gems as well for my uh, kind of grinding of the fishing thing. But, um, yeah, so I mean, uh, it's kind of pretty damn good to kind of have the beefiest uh, of the weapons at the moment, so uh, yeah, that's quite good. Um, there isn't really too much kind of change with the other people uh, as such. Uh, so, Bellar, I kind of tried to beef up a little bit, but I kind of, I was doing that literally about five minutes ago, but I had to actually stop because I need to record this video. Uh, I do need take this off, actually, because that's not uh, for young Bella. I'll uh, pop that there. We'll pop uh, something for now. Attack one. Hey, I'm sure we won't have to use her at all this episode anyway, but um, yeah, so I will continue to beef up her. I also do want to break down this and add that to uh, good old uh, Aga's sword as well, because I basically want to make the main sword we obviously use as bookers, and obviously the rest of them kind of, kind of work as support. I might actually add Burnt Bandit Slingshot to Hard Shooter, I'm not too sure, but basically what the plan is here is, I, well, I wouldn't actually add it to Hard Shooter, I'd add it to Double Impact. Basically what the plan is here, I'm going to basically uh, vamp this up to level 5, and then break that down and add it to Double Impact, so then we basically have the best one, because basically uh, Double Impact, out of these three weapons here, is the closest upgrade to the best weapon for Bella as well. Um, with Goro, I haven't done much whatsoever. I was, as I said, I was going to do a lot more of him as well. Uh, I just basically didn't really get much time, because I, I, I kind of Again, I noticed I really had to record this video before I actually went to bed. Well, not to bed, because it basically kind of is getting towards a point where I couldn't actually record anymore. Um, we need to add this back to young uh, Ruby. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Uh, excuse me? Uh, I want to pop that there. There we are. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, so... Um yeah, so I mean, uh, Ruby doesn't change much as well, as you can see, it's basically kind of stayed the same, and the same with young uh, Ollie's weapon as well. Obviously, the big one really is, to be fair, the fact if we move big bucks and stuff like that back uh, from where I wasn't here, back to uh, good old uh, Booker's weapon, weapon, really. And, um, yeah, so coming off the weapons, the only other real big thing as well is this little thing, the clay doll. Now, basically, one of the things we missed last time which I was talking about on the, on the previous episode, the very, very end of it. I was basically mentioning about how um, we were meant to hand the foundation to someone uh, at the end of, like, in... Muscaraka? Muscaraka, yeah. Um, meant to give him the foundation, basically he would have given us the clay doll in return. The clay doll is what we're meant to give to that young lady over here. I'm assuming it's a lady. A person in the hood, I'll, I'll call that. But, um... <clears throat> but yeah, what's your name again? Marina. Mar Mania? I'm gonna say Mania. Mania sounds like a Mania, Mania sounds like a girl's name as well. Anyway, it's, it's a girl. But yeah, so basically, I had to kind of go back a little bit. I um, luckily I had to save data just before I actually faced the boss, so I didn't actually. I for some reason completely forgot I had that. And I was thinking, oh fuck, we have to go for quite a few floors again. But um, fortunately enough, I was quite lucky and just to sort of grab that and quickly just pop back across. Um, but yeah, so that is really about it. Um, my inventory hasn't changed too much. Uh, I. Did I? Oh, I must have had it. I didn't even notice I had them. Sorry, I was running around the place of the dungeon when I was grinding before, and I noticed I ran out of uh, Drans feathers. They must have been hiding in my inventory somewhere. But, um, yeah, I mean, not much has really changed. As you can see, I've got some bread now, because I went back to Divine Beast Cave for a bit. And, um, yeah, I do need to stock up on some stuff. I'm not going to lie. I do need to also pop these back in my storage. But that's all stuff I probably will do off camera in a bit anyway, because I do want to spend kind of most of the night kind of just burning through most of this. Uh, Attachment-wise, not much changing. You can see I've got quite a few gems now. I think most of these were here when you guys were watching last episode, but I think the only ones I really would have been added is that one, the diamond, obviously you guys saw at the end of the request thing, and the garnet would have been the main two ones you guys wouldn't have seen. Maybe the Amos Fist as well, I'm not too sure. Um, I actually managed to get the ruby uh, from the quick time event at the end of the last dungeon. I actually, basically, as I had to do that mission again, I actually managed to do it quite well, and I actually did manage to get that gem from that, so it was quite cool. So, um, but yeah, so... 
Without further ado, I don't think there is too much else. When we find another merchant, I will get rid of the crystal knife because I have no need for that whatsoever. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, so let's talk to good old Marina. You know what, you're Marina, it's fine. Hi, my name is Mania. Okay, yes. Oh, whatever. I, I, <laughs> spelling on this game is something they cannot do right. Anyway, um, hi, my name is Mania, a collector of rare moon items. I collect old items. Do you have any for me? Uh, yes, I do, I believe. I have this uh, rather old clay doll. Oh. <gasps> Whoa. Cool. Where'd you get a, that clay doll? An ancient figure, clay... Uh, an ancient figurine clay doll made by an ancient people. <laughs> made by an ancient people. I like that. Um, uh, and this model is, like, totally rare. There's only a couple of dozen of them. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, can I please have it, please? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> sure. It's all yours, love. All right. Yeah. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Marina of the Diamonds. But uh, I see. I guess you can't, huh? What? Oh, I know. You guess, you guess I can't what? I will give you my treasure in return. Okay, sure. Here. Ah. Ooh, the sun. <laughs> She's just given us the sun. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, the sun. Uh, don't waste your breath telling me to give it back. I'm keeping this. Uh, this will be my new treasure. Thank you very much. You're more than welcome, buddy. So, I believe now, uh, uh, sun is an attachment, if I'm right. And I am right. Okay, uh, gem can be attached to weapon. No, I believe we shouldn't use this yet because I'm pretty sure we do actually have to use that later on for uh, something else. If I just take off this, just so I can kind of get the uh, gist of the damage and stuff, it might be adding. Uh, attack. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, dang, son. That's like three to all of them. Ten to all of them and some attack. That's pretty cool. I mean, in all fairness, I'd probably go to a waste once I pop this on here because, like, everything's kind of maxed out except, uh, well, not everything, but a lot, you know what I mean, especially the attack anyway. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, uh, I, I believe later on we actually do have to use that to give to someone? I'm not too sure. I mean, I'll, re I'll research that in a second. I'm kind of going on my little break. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, anyway, we need to kind of explore sun drops, really, to be fair. So, <laughs> sun drops. Oh. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, um, yeah, welcome to sun drops, folks. I'm sorry, we haven't really explored this place at all, to be fair. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a little look around. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry I've been a, I sound a little off at all, guys and gals. I'm sort of just like, um... I don't know. I, I wasn't really expecting to kind of continue to play this game. It's very weird because normally whenever I go into this, I'm like, haven't played it for a while. And obviously, as I've played it for like the past hour or so, it's quite strange. Okay, awesome. Can I get up? Doesn't look like you can climb up. Oh, really? Okay, sure. Why not? All right. Hello, Linda. Oh, I, oh, I, always get, uh, oh, I always get stood up when meeting Samba. He's so rude. Sorry, Linda. I don't mean to... <laughs> Is that my fault? I don't really know. Okay. Um, oh, hello. Didn't expect this. Oh, oh, nice! I, I actually don't know they carried across. I assume they sort of all stay in one place and that's it, but that's pretty cool. I sounded way too excited about that. I was like, oh my god, that's nice! Um, yeah, so actually one of the things as well, uh, you'll notice as well I've actually stored away the, um, uh, Sun and Moon Sword. No, I, well, sorry, Sun Sword, but, I, I to be fair, I, I wasn't really too sure what to do, because I wanted to sell it, to be fair, because, I mean, I probably will never use it, but, I don't know why, but I mean, after like, the, the emotional time we had with Kasuki last time, I thought, I cannot do that. I cannot actually just, like, just get rid of it like that. So, anyway. Um, no, thank you very much. Uh, oh, okay. Perfect. Are you finished? No, thank you. Like, what? <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, I mean, for some reason, I couldn't really get rid of it. I, I felt kind of emotionally attached to it this time. Um, anyhow. But, yeah, I'm sorry if I do sound off at all, guys and guys. I don't mean to at all. It's just... I don't know why, I feel I feel kind of strange, as I said before, like, continuing to play this game after playing it for, like, a little bit before. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> and my throat is absolutely killing me today, I'm going to have to admit. It is, it, it, my throat is not agreeing me whatsoever. Hello, Jive. I like your name. Hi there, who are you? I'm Jive. Uh, I know all about weapons, so listen up. To build a... Ooh, to build up a sun sword, increase its original anti-basis event... What? Anti-basis evenly, and then all five elemental attributes up to the necessary level. To build up a sun sword... Well, uh, as much as I love your uh, your uh, information there, Jive, I'm actually going to pass on that and actually build up the Chronicle Sword instead of a Sun Sword. Okay. What's this? I actually have no idea what this is. Okay. I'll probably find out later on. Awesome. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry my, uh, my, my my voice may sound off at all like today, guys and gals. I may just sound off at all together, but I am very, very sorry. It's just sort of like one of... <laughs> I am very, very sorry. <laughs> it's one of those days today. It really is one of those days. Anyway. All right. 
Well, this is a this is a delightful little wander around the place, isn't it? Hello, Ali. Oh, I. Um, you're from Blue Terror. Oh, uh, what are you doing here? Got nothing better to do? All right, fam, calm down. All right. Maybe I may sound bunged up as anything or like full of cold is because today I really am. I'm not too sure why my throat just is killing me today. Um, you need gunpowder to use that cannon uh, that transports you around the uh, moon sea craters. It should be somewhere in the, each crater. Maybe one of the monsters has it. <gasps> Spoilers to what exactly the next uh, dungeon area is going to be. God, Lambo. <sighs> Fucking Lamborghini over there. Spoiling everything for us. <sighs> Alright. Um, also, someone actually mentioned as well. Um, I really love this comment, by the way. I, I, I've forgotten the per name of the person that actually put it on there. I want to say Adam something. I, I, I've kind of forgot. I'm sorry if I, I can't remember who it is. I, I'm, I thank you very much for watching my videos, but I've completely forgotten who it is. But um, someone basically commented about how uh, the with the gem thing we had, the situation we had last time. Um, hello, Mr. Flemmit. What's your name? Flamil. Flammy. Um, hi, in the other drops, we've kept a particular tradition for ages, uh, but the boss completely disregarded it to build a high-tech facility. I wonder if it's the right thing to do. Uh, do you really have to get rid of uh, the old to create the new? What's your, what's your name? Flammy. Nice. Um, but no, someone basically commented, uh, oh. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know this was a ladder there. Um, I wonder if at one point they decided they were going to do a different kind of camera angle, because it's so strange they'd actually show that and then not let you climb up it, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, hello, Mr. Florida. Um, have you ever seen the Bravery Launch? It's a cursed board that may, makes you want to jump off it when you when you step on it. Oh, I remember this. Uh, but I, I'm, not, I'm not that stupid. I'll never get on it. Okay, calm down, fam. But, um, yeah, but the Bravery Launch thing is basically like the bonus area in the next dungeon, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so, uh, no, someone basically commented about how, <laughs> it's quite funny, but basically the, in, with the gem situation last time where, uh, if you guys and guys can't remember, basically with the gems, uh, in, what the hell's the last dungeon called? Um, hello, cheek. Ceiling, uh, ceiling skill, never heard of it. What is it? Uh, I don't know. What is ceiling skill? Should I know that? It's fine. Okay, um, is that, oh, nope, new place. Um, yeah, basically with the gems, that you know how like, the ruby opens the doors by like, blasting the gems at them. Someone put a beautiful comment on my thing. I, I, I know it was intended to kind of be a little bit of a criticism, and I took it. I mean, I'm always person to kind of like accept criticism and such. Fucking old lumber. Mate, I can't, this is the brothers to Lamber. Um, I can't believe the Samba got a girlfriend before me. God, oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Lumber. What are you saying, Sal Salsa? Uh, I, excuse me, I want, I want to talk to Salsa, please. Um, hey, you're not from around here, are you? Weirdo. Alright, fam, calm down. I won't save your bloody... Well, I guess I'm not really saving your village, I suppose. I don't know. Um, but no, basically, someone commented about it saying about how I should have added the thunder by now and didn't really feel any, any like, sympathy for me whatsoever. I, I, I have to admit, like, that brutal honesty, I was like, you know what? I respect you. I respect that. I, I don't know why. I just sort of didn't really even, like... I don't know why. I, was, I wasn't too fussed about the, like, kind of, like, pretty harsh criticism, to be fair. Um, no, I'm not giving it back. This dolly's mine. Oh, sorry, Marina. Alright. But yeah, I'm very glad we kind of went back and did the whole doll thing. So I, I think the sun thing is something we need later on. Not important, but I think that gives us a bonus weapon later on or something bonus anyway. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll find out. Okay, so. As you can tell, uh, Sun Drops is doing pretty damn good in good condition. So we don't really need to repair that. So what exactly do we need? Oh. <laughs> Saw our book as eye eyeballs for a sec there. So what exactly do we need to repair? Shield headquarters, son. This is the factory that our boss is so proud of. What do you think? It's something, isn't it? I'm Leden. Uh, Le Leden? Leden? Why not? I'm Leden. I'm in charge of this factory. Hang on, one second. Mm. My throat is in such pain. Okay. <laughs> I was told about you. Nice to meet you. Ah. Like, shake his thumb. He's like, have a thumb. Alright. Man, the eyes are so creepy, but they're so cute when they take the lids off. Alright. Um, oh, s oh, uh, Samra is supposed to be your guide. Uh, he's not around. Hmm. Well then. I'll take his place and guide you. So I hear you need to be, uh, need to know about the sealing technique. Uh, that is a secret skill from the ancestor, uh, the ancient times used by our ancestors. Uh, maybe our boss knows. Okay. Well, he's not here, is he? Is he? I don't know. Shall we go? Sure. Where are we going, kid? <laughs> Welcome to the center of shield headquarters. This is the great factory our boss leader of the moon people has, has created. There is nothing you can, you can't make here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll just, oh, bollocks. Uh, unfortunately, something about the boss then. Uh, along with testing the new model, he's a, he's entered a contest. Uh, if it's if it's urgent to, uh, to see him now, go to the Colosseum. The Colosseum, oh my 
god! The Colosseum is straight ahead past the Moon Sea. However, the Moon Sea has changed recently. Monsters are lurking all over now. How inconvenient. Uh, also, the structure of the Moon Sea seems to have uh, become more complicated. Uh, I'll walk you to the entrance of the Moon Sea. This way, please. Basically, I kind of skipped down. Basically, you sort of said about how his boss has wandered off to like a Colosseum kind of arena showdown kind of thing. And uh, yeah, basically, we have to go hunt him over a dungeon. I kind of, I completely forgot that's the reason we have to go through this dungeon. Like, ah, well. Like, us. Oh, sorry, my boss has gone on a suicide mission. You don't have to go get him. <laughs> All right. Um, beyond this gate is the Moon Sea. But then it's quite different from any sea you know. Recently, many monsters started appearing in the Moon Sea. Uh, stay sharp and be careful. Various recovery and support items are sold in this village. Be fully prepared before you set out into the Moon Sea. So long now. Catch you later, champ. Off you go. Go on. Hop away, lad. One last hop. I like that. That's pretty good. <laughs> Little panoramic zoom. Like, oh... Oh, what is going to befall us past the gate of mystery? Dun, dun, dun. So, um, yeah, I don't really think we have too much to really kind of prepare for this. Um, <clears throat> I am trying to think. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So, um, yes, pretty much at the moment, they haven't really explained exactly what we are going to kind of be building. So, obviously, we still do have to collect at the million and all that stuff. So, um, we will have that joy in a bit. But, ooh. Well, then. Nice. Okay. I, I also love how we're just on the moon. I mean, only only at level 5, because they think, you know what, we're going to put people on the moon, and we're going to launch cannons around the moon. Like, <laughs> how cool is this? That's so cool. Anyway, but yeah, so basically, the cannons are how you get from, like, one floor to another as such, and uh, I have no idea, in the process, obviously, obviously, you've been launched from one place to another, you decide whether you want to get launched home or not, but, um, you know, as you do. Okay, number one crater. So, as you can see, a full level, full of beautiful little atla. Now... I have to admit, this is one of the, this is one of the dungeons that is kind of like a bit of a blank spot for me. Um, oh, damn, this sword looks cool. I haven't actually seen it properly, to be fair, yeah. I've only really seen it, like, upgraded and played a little bit, but um, I haven't really played with it too much. But, yeah, so it's quite, just, like, weirdly... Oh, shite. Ah, okay. Eh, not too much damage. Okay, I can... Ow, oh, okay, fair amount. Okay, I was kind of worried my sword wouldn't actually do too much damage, because it is a little bit weaker than um, a good old Dark Cloud, but it takes two hits to kind of kill him. I'll take two to tango. There we are. Ah, that would not have been a good start. Hey, gunpowder, that is a good start. Okay, um, but, uh, yeah, so, I mean, um, yeah, it's, 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 for some reason, when I was playing with it before, I think it's maybe before I actually attached the big bucks hammer to it, um, it was a kind of, like, a, quite different to kind of play with as such, if it makes sense. It, it was a lot kind of harder to, uh, use quite simply, as, uh, simply. Uh, Mammoth Tusk, beautiful. But, um, yeah. Hello, everybody. I am the Gaming Lemon. Oh, is that me, Moonbug? Do you mind? There we are. But yeah, I have to. I can't actually remember any of the bosses, or the, any of the enemies in this place. Like Moonbug, I can't actually remember facing them. I remember there being some kind of sludgeish monster. I remember that. I, I don't know. Anyway, but um, yeah. So as you can see, we are actually currently picking up Fumijix. I forgot you guys come back. Damn. Well, not still not called uh, Friday first or anything anymore. So I won't be able to sing that song anymore. But Hell Pocket, a little bit Hot Pockets. Why not? Um, maybe it's a reference. Wait. <laughs> but um. Yes, yeah, so I mean, um, yes, yeah, so we obviously are now picking stuff up, and obviously the moment it doesn't really say what it. Ah, hey, all right, fucking 360 no scope over here. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm only really hitting them like once on occasion because I want to see exactly how much damage these guys have taken. Um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, um, yeah, sorry, I'm kind of sort of taking in the entire game at the moment. <laughs> all right, Amulet. Okay, and, um, yeah, so this is one of the locations where, uh, there's a sign, test your courage. Basically, if you find one of the things, which is the, the, was it the test, the bravery something, the bravery plank, something like that? I don't know. Basically, you have to kind of dive off of there and, uh, die. ooh, dang, I need to walk straight into one of the things then. Um, but yeah, no, you have to basically dive straight off there and just directly into the, the next kind of, uh, area. Uh, bonus areas, that's, that's what I'm trying to say, Christ, I'm sorry, my words are not, are escaping me today. Alright. Monsieur. But yeah, so one of the weird things about this place, obviously, like, one of the weird things, I don't know why I said like that, <laughs> one of the weird things about this place, um, is, uh, hey, there we go, shout out to the new, uh, chests, um, 
yeah, one of the weird things about this place, the fact that there obviously is no walls or any such, it's just a complete kind of open kind of layer as such. And it does offer some kind of strange aspects to the gameplay. Like, so for example, if we use uh, either Ruby or Bella at the moment, we can actually shoot across the walls to like a different section altogether. Like, so basically we can shoot across corners, shoot, like, say for example, if there's someone over there and I was confident enough to kind of think I could hit them, I could probably just like, pet, like pop a shot at them and maybe hit them if I was lucky, but, um... Yeah, it's quite cool though. I mean, it's, it's kind of strange to see the aspect of stuff where things can just fly across from you at the other side of the map. So, um, yeah. But no, this is one of the, like, the places that actually has been well known for uh, like to actually for the game to actually kind of glitch out quite a lot. Uh, so the game could just bug up recently at any point, really, to be fair, and sort of suddenly just think it's doing something else where it shouldn't be. Um, so yeah. I'm quite interested to see exactly, exactly how often that happens, to be fair, but we will, uh, we shall see. Thank you very much for Mr. Map. Alright, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. Man, these guys are not too tough. <laughs> okay, doesn't seem like we're gonna have too much of trouble going through this little dungeon again, so it should be okay. Alright. I'm a knight. But yeah, so I'm not really gonna spoil too much of what exactly we're gonna be building yet, because I don't... I don't know, I don't know. I don't know when we should get told what we're building, because I know obviously we're collecting this, but obviously no one's really said to us, Hey, we're, uh, you should be collecting these, or should be finding these, or blah, 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 blah. So no one's already said anything like that yet, so I mean, I'm just gonna sort of just keep going along with it for now. Because I think at one point someone's like, hey, we're building a so-and-so to help you do so-and-so, so you should do so-and-so. Basically, that's what happens pretty much at one point, so. I have a feeling that might happen when we bump into the, uh, good old boss later on. So I actually have a feeling we don't actually go through the entire dungeon to get to the boss. I think we only get to like maybe halfway through, but I I, I don't know. I'm based this purely off like what I can kind of remember. Anywho, so uh, what do I? Yeah, it's not really well. Ice. I do need ice, but I mean, do I actually really need that much ice? You're a fake Christ. We can't need that much ice. I mean, if we t if, what does this increase over here? Dragon and mage. I don't think I need any of that for that, do I? Yeah, I need none of them whatsoever. So I mean, I may as well just take this one off for now. Uh, I'll keep the ah, not that one. Uh, I'll keep that one there for now, and what we'll do is we'll add this tiny little piece of holy there. Unless, I actually haven't checked what the granite actually adds yet. Fire. Eh, not, uh, not desperate to be fair, especially if we don't actually need fire for this one as well, so may have been a bad choice on my side to be fair. Alright. I basically just chose uh, granite out of the like a random choice. I, I could have, I guess I could have kind of checked to see what exactly ones do what, but I was, I was feeling lazy. Uh, <laughs> Alright, attack, magic power is doing fine. Ice is looking good, as, as I kind of guessed. Winds and holy are the only two left to really do. Nice, that was pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, I think they do ice. This one definitely does fire, yep. Um... I think we've got- Oh, we do have wind. Oh, a pretty little bit of wind. Oh, dang, son. Uh, nice. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'll pop like undead on there for now, because I mean, it might give us a little hand on some of the stuff. I mean, I haven't exactly found many moon zombies just yet, but as you do. Hello, moon- uh, Excuse me, moon- uh, Moonbug, I just upgraded my weapon. I'm expecting to kill you guys in one hit now. Oh, come on, catch up with the times. All right. But yeah, so uh, I have recently come down a bit of cold though, folks. It's not been the best, I have to admit. Uh, I've had them. I, I don't know if you guys ever get that though, when you get like really. That's just like how cool that is though. I mean, you actually see different areas of the map so, like, off, the, off the screen. I know it's obviously not something we get to, but that's quite cool. Um, but anyway, so sorry. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, like, uh, I. I've been recently coming down for cold, which has been absolutely pain in the bottom, I have to admit, because uh, uh, my, obviously my voice kind of just rely on my, uh, my, my YouTube stuff obviously just rely on my voice, but I'm doing okay, so it's not too bad. But um, uh, but yeah, so it's been, it's been I've kind of had them nights where it's sort of like, you sat there, like brush your teeth, and all of a sudden you like feel something in the back of your throat, you're like, <laughs> just to kind of clear yourself out. Not the most delightful noise to hear, have you guys here just then, but you know. But no, I'm, I'm obviously not going to repeat it again, but um, <laughs> I, I, I fucking, you get top quality content here in the Lonesome Ravda, don't you? All right. Time to die, Moonbug. I know I'm taking a hit every single time with the Moonbugs. I don't know why I'm not really too fussed, but... Nothing really too much to fear with them just yet, so... Oh, 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 oh. Can't prove myself wrong. Oh, no, of course I can't. It's fine. Come on, Moonbug. Time to die. There we are. Beautiful. Franking you all. Alright. We may actually see we've actually almost powered for another level of bad boys. Hopefully we might be able to find some holy or something like that soon, so... Um, yeah. But uh, also, coming come back to what I said before, I mentioned before about how, um... Someone uh, uh, was uh, kind of criticized me for not having added thunder to Ruby's weapon just yet. I have not added that anyway, so if I didn't mention that before, I have not added that altogether. So it should be all now good to go. Um, anyway, folks, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to uh, cut this episode a little bit short. Uh, cannon can be used now. Thank you very much. Fire the cannon. Shaboom. And she's off. 
<laughs> Alright, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm unfortunately going to end this episode here because I, I've kind of gone awkward kind of little time scale today. So um, what I'm going to do is end this episode here. I'll do the next level in the next episode and uh, hopefully we'll see a little bit more exactly what's going on in Sundrop's place because we don't know what we're building yet. Mwah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. It's been absolutely lovely playing this game for you guys as ever. Hope you guys and gals aren't too mad at me anything I've said and done. Um, I'm not saying you guys are mad at me. You guys have been absolutely lovely. Oh, I, I, I do want to kind of explain something as well. We've got a couple of minutes before I should definitely end the episode before it gets a bit too long. Um, I do want to, I want, do want you guys to understand that I really do appreciate everything you do for the channel. Like, every little view, like, comment, it does honestly mean the world to me. And this isn't something I have sort of said a lot recently, and I've kind of felt bad for it. Because um, when I started this channel, I obviously kind of wanted to do it for just kind of enjoying myself. Enjoying, like, what I did it, uh, do, do on YouTube, and it's something I really do and still enjoy. Um, but you guys have kind of made it more to me than that. I mean, like, I do want to upload these Dark Cloud episodes because I don't want to let you guys down. Like, want to kind of, like, constantly just, like show you guys these and just sort of say hey new episode of lot dark cloud and just like enjoy these kind of games with you guys i really enjoy playing these games and having you guys watch these games with me is just like amazing and i just i, I absolutely adore doing this and i mean i just don't envy any of you guys to ever feel like i don't know i don't appreciate guys because i mean i felt recently as i said before i have I haven't really said it quite as much as I used to. I mean, like I said, I, when I started this channel, like when I, uh, like say for example, got the like hundred milestone, two hundred milestone, three hundred milestone, that kind of area. Um, I used to say it all the time. I used to tell you guys like loads about how much I kind of appreciate you guys. I loved you guys, and I still do love you guys, and I still appreciate you guys like crazy. I just don't feel like I say as much these days. And I, want, I, I do honestly want to apologize for that because I mean I haven't said it in a long time, and I just want to say that you guys mean the world to me. I mean honestly, all of you, all you, all you all like. Little views, all your little likes, all your little comments just honestly mean the world to me. I mean, some of you guys have been incredible, most of you guys have been amazing, and all of you guys have been perfect. So, I mean, honestly, it's just like there's there's nothing you guys could be doing better. You guys have been amazing to the channel, you've been honest with me. If I've done wrong, I don't mind that, I'll take the criticism. But when I've, when I've done good, and when you guys feel like I've done well, I feel like we've all kind of done something well together, and it's just, I really enjoy this YouTube stuff, and you guys make it worth doing what I do. And I mean, I don't get paid for this stuff, uh, I, well, I do, I get paid mildly. It doesn't really help me out my builds at all, but I still do it. I mean, I just love the stuff, and I mean, I do it because of you guys, and I just absolutely love it. And I, I don't know, I didn't want you guys to think that I don't appreciate you guys. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to end this episode here, and uh, you guys have been awesome. I will see you guys in the next episode. It's been absolutely lovely for playing this game with you guys, as ever. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been on and once again, you guys are beautiful, as ever. C'est la vie, hasta la vista, and goodbye. Watch out!